welcome back. I'm Helen. And tonight's cocktail is the Gin Basil Smash. So we're having a gin based cocktail tonight, all in honor of my great friend Donna, who is visiting us tonight. And she is an absolute gin lover. So we're going for gin tonight. It's a very simple cocktail, the Gin Basil Smash, only a few ingredients. The ingredients are a lemon, fresh lemons. I'm lucky enough, fresh from the tree, which is beautiful. Some absolutely gorgeous basil here. Oh, it is divine. Freshly cut from my garden, probably 15 minutes ago. And we're going to have some sugar syrup and some beautiful gin. Now you can choose which gin you do want to use. Sometimes I'll use the Bombay Sapphire. Donna has so kindly gifted us because it's a special occasion getting together as friends tonight. What is called Gin Ma and it's a Mediterranean gin and it has been distilled from olives, thyme, rosemary and basil. So Donna thought the basil just might be a beautiful note for a gin basil smash. So there are the ingredients, very simple. So first of all what we're going to do tonight, we're going to use a Boston shaker and we're going to muddle, we're going to cut up half a lemon into wedges, place that in to the glass. We're going to grab about 10, 10 fresh basil leaves, pop them in. Mind you I love basil so I'm probably putting a few more than 10 in which is okay. And what we're going to do is muddle it. So muddling is actually, I'm going to use a wooden spoon today, tonight to muddle. So muddling, you just get in there with a bit of strength and what you're trying to achieve is getting all those flavours to come out. When you're muddling you can use a pestle and mortar mortar if you like but mine was a little bit too short. That's why I opted for the wooden spoon tonight. So we're getting all those glorious juices out. Oh yeah, that's, that's beautifully muddled. Then what we're going to do is 600 mil, 600, my gosh, that's one <laughs> hell of a cocktail. No, we're going to do 60 mil, <laughs> our trusty. So there's a 30 mil shot here. So we're going to do 30, another one, 60. Now the recipe calls for 15 mil of sugar syrup. And what I'm going to do is just a wee little bit less because I personally, just my personal taste, like a little bit less of the sugar syrup. So I'm probably going to do about a 10 and put the 10 in there. Then we're going to add some ice and we're going to shake it up. We're going to shake it up real big and, big and strong. Put in some ice. And the glass I'm going to use is one of my favourite shapes and it is a martini tumbler. So we're going to use that but first of all let's shake this up. Give it a good shake. Don't be afraid of shaking. I love the shake. Oh, a little bit more. Now the shaking I think, and everyone thinks, is the magical part of a cocktail. Don't you think cocktails are just magic? They bring up a magic in everyone who wants to have cocktails. So what we're going to do now is a little bit of ice into our martini tumbler. I should bring my ice bucket a little closer. Then, we're going to, then, then what we're going to do is strain our cocktail. I'm lucky enough to have a little strainer. If you don't have a strainer, why don't you use a little kitchen tea strainer? In it goes. It is smelling delicious, I've got to say. Strained in there, tiny little bit of basil's come through, which I'm quite happy with. I don't mind at all. And what I'm going to do tonight, just to give it a little bit of pizzazz, a little garnish, I'm going to put a little bit of basil and a little bit of lemon peel which I've twisted and voila, a gin basil smash. 
So now for the taste test, let's try. Oh, 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 that is absolutely divine. That gin is delicious. Oh my goodness. Mmm. All the tastes that my palate loves. Absolutely delicious. Mmm. My goodness, that is so, so good. I hope you've enjoyed today. I'm loving this gin basil smash. I hope you're going to love the gin basil smash. Please write in the comments. I'd love to hear how you went. And that is all for me, the cocktail queen of Mount Tambourine. Mwah!